Hi everyone, I'm Koichi Sasada from Cookpad Japan. Today, I introduce the Ruby3 feature named Lacta, the parallel and concurrent abstraction. In Japan, now it is midnight and I'm not sure I can stay awake, so this is a recorded video. If you have any question, please tweet with hashtag Lacta and I will answer your question. Also, you can download this presentation file from this URL, and it includes the all source code today I will introduce, so you can run it on your own machine. At first, I want to share the background of this Lacta project. Nowadays, CPU has many cores, and parallel computation is needed for the performance improvement. It is easy to utilize multiple CPU cores with multiple processes. However, it is difficult to make multiple process programs because inter-process communication is difficult and because multiple processes can consume the uh, computation resources such as memory and so on. Making many threads is another well-known way to utilize multiple cores, but our MRI the Ruby command doesn't support parallel execution with multiple threads. Let's try to run this program on MRI. This program makes 20 threads, and each thread runs busy loop. If threads run in parallel, multiple CPU cores will be busy. Let's try on the parallel computer. Upper screen shows CPU usages for 40 logical CPUs. As you can see, single loop utilizes 100% on CPU. However, we made 20 threads. We cannot see busy CPUs because all threads cannot run simultaneously and MRI switches threads over a short period of time. It is what happens on MRI threading systems. Parallel execution is not allowed on MRI. This is because implementation limitation of MRI. However, I believe threading is too hard to make correct program because we need to care about many things, especially correct synchronization. If we forget to write synchronization with locks and so on, there will be a critical bug because of data less, less conditions, data lock, de dead lock, and live locking. Furthermore, these bugs are difficult to debug because they are non-deterministic -de nature. Non-deterministic means you cannot repro reproduce same issues easily. These difficulties are the opposite of the happy programming what Ruby is aiming for. This is one of the reason why I have opposed to allow parallel ex thread execution. I don't want to send Ruby users to threading hell. Additionally, it is difficult to improve single thread performance because of fine grain synchronizations. This is simple reason why it was difficult to implement the parallel threads on MRI. This is very simple counter incrementing program to by two threads. Each thread repeat getting the current counter and set plus one. This simple code should output two millions. However, the actual output is lower number each time the answer is different because there is no synchronization. To correct this program, we need to introduce the mutex here, and the output is 2 million correctly. It is easy to introduce such mutex because the code is enough small, but in general, the application is bigger and it should use many libraries. It is difficult to find out the threatening issues in application and used gem libraries. So we need we make two goals. 
for Ruby 3, introducing easy and parallel concurrent abstraction to Ruby 3. To achieve our goal, we propose new concurrent abstraction named Lacta. Lacta is an actor-like actor concurrent abstraction. The key idea is limited object sharing between actors and making a program with inter-actor communication. By the way, this project was renamed from Yield. Discussion with Matt, we decided to rename Guild to Doctor this year. Raptor has several concepts. Today, I will introduce these concepts with working code. If you want to see the specification of Raptor, please check this document. At first, we can make multiple Raptors and each Raptor can run in parallel on parallel computer. Interpreter process has at least one Raptor named main Raptor, and a Raptor has at least one thread. Multiple threads in a Raptor cannot run in parallel. It is completely same as current MRI's behavior. We can make a Raptor with Raptor.new method with given block. So this given block will run in parallel. Self on given block is replaced with the created Raptor. It is different, different from out, outer self of this block. By the way, if you make additional Raptor, you will see the experimental warning. It means Lacta is not matured on Ruby 3.0 and the specification will be changed. If you have any comment, please send us your comments. Your voice can improve the specification. Let's make 20 Lacta's on the same machine with this program. Each Lacta only repeat busy loop. Let's start. As you can see, 20 Lacta utilize 20 logical CPUs. And then more 40 Lacta. You can see 40 logical CPUs are busy. Lacta is working on Windows, so on Windows machine, we can also observe same CPU utilization with performance monitor. Busy loop is useless example, so the next program is a bit more useful program. This program checks the given number is prime number or not. You can pass the parameter to the Raptor and take method with the result of Raptor. The Raptor block computes the uh, prime number checking. Left program is single thread sequential program, and right program is using two Lacta's parallel program to compute it in parallel. Let's try on the machine. Learning sequential program, it takes a few seconds. These two numbers, by the way, these two numbers are Mersen primes and the next number, next prime number. So they, they are prime numbers. To check huge prime number, it seems to take a long time on Ruby prime implementations. Single thread program needs 26 seconds and using two lock, uh, two lockers, it, they run in parallel and it takes 13 seconds. It is about two times faster. 
We can observe the performance improvement by parallel execution with raptors. However, current raptors implementation is not matured, especially on object creation. Let's set task as creating 1 million strings. Using single threads, it takes 0.2 seconds, but raptor version consumes 0.7 seconds. This is because object allocation is not tuned com compared with uh, sequential mode. So I, I will try to improve this performance regression before Ruby 3.0 release. OK, let's show another Lactas concept, the lim limited object sharing between Lactas. The biggest difficulties of thread programming is from showing everything memory module. We need to care synchronizations of all objects. So we decided to limit the object sharing between raptors. Normal objects such as strings, arrays, hashes, and so on are not shared between raptors. Therefore, we don't need to care about synchronizations because they are not shared. In other words, you cannot introduce the synchronization-related bugs because they are not needed anymore on Lacta programming. Most objects are not shared between Lactas. However, there are several shareable objects. Uh, classes and modules, immutable objects, which means the object which is deeply frozen objects, and other special shareable objects such as Lacta object itself. On Lacta programming, you will create Lacta network using inter Lacta communication APIs. Lacta can wait for the message arrival so you can control the program flow. There are two types of communication APIs, push type, which consists of Lacta send and Lacta receive, and pull type, which consists of Lacta if and Lacta take. Push type is straightforward approach. You can send an object as a message, and another Lacta can receive the message. We can say it is message passing model and actor style communication. Note that sending you unshareable object will copy them, so the object isolation will be protected. This program makes a raptor and sending sends a string object from main raptor to the raptor named R1 using send method. If R1, uh, in R1, the send, send object is received by receive method. Receive method waiting for the message arrival. Checking the object ID. On main raptor, the string object ID is 60 and received object is 80. So we can confirm the object was copied. If the object has recursive structure, the object is copied recursively. This program shows the child object is also copied by checking each object ID 60 and 80. For send and receive communication, there is incoming port and it's connected to incoming queue. Send objects are queued into incoming queue through incoming port. Any raptor can send message to a raptor. Incoming queue is infin infinite queue, so sending operation returns immediately. If incoming port is closed, sending message will be failed and raises an exception. 
If the router terminates, the incoming port is also closed automatically, so we can know the sending router is living or not. It means that we cannot send a message to dead router. Another communication type is proof type. A router can yield an object as a message by router.l method. And another router can take this message with router take method. Different from pushing type communication, taking router specifies the source router. Proof type communication, yielding router and taking router wait for each other. So we can call it as well, rendezvous style communication. On this program, a router named R1 is three integers, 0, 1, 2, and the block return symbol, fin. We can take the result of the block by take method. So main router can take three values, 0, 1, 2, and the block result symbol, fin. There is outgoing port and evening router put a message to outgoing port. Taking router checks the outgoing port. As you can see, you can connect two routers with outgoing port like that. And also you can connect more and more routers like that. This concept can achieve the pipeline computation. This program creates two routers R1 and R2. Each router runs tasks which increments the given number and they are run in parallel. On this case, main router sends a parameter 1 to R1 and R1 and R2 increments it and the main router can take the result number 3. If outgoing port is closed, the take operation will be failed and it raises an exception like incoming port. Terminated router's outgoing port will be closed automatically, so we cannot take from dead routers. Multiple routers can take from one router, but an yielded message can be taken by only one router. On this case, taking R1 or R2 can take a message. With push type and pull type communication methods, we can make a load balancing with multiple working routers. When sending a request from main router to bridge router, then the received message will be yielded by uh, bridge router. And either router R1, R2, or R3 takes the yielded me message. You can wait a message by taking from multiple routers with router.select method. On this case, R1, R2, or R3 is the message and main router can take the message with router.select method. Using bridge and select method, we can build such worker pool. We can send a request message to the bridge router and worker takes a worker take a message and run some task and the results of the task can be taken by main router with router.select method. This program makes bridge router and three work, worker routers. It demonstrates to send three requests and getting three answers from worker routers. You can extend the router network, for example, using pipelines. In this case, R1 and R4 using the pipeline model.
There is another important idea, exception propagation. If a laughter terminates with an exception, taking laughter will raise with remote error, like thread join method does. On this program, laughter R1 raises an exception type error, and main laughter tries to take from R1 and take method raised a remote error exception. This exception contains reason when and why the original exception are raised. In this case, e.cause shows the original error type error, and e.lactor shows which lactor causes the type error. So we can supervise working lactors and detect the exception by main lactor or supervise lactors. In this case, R2 raise an exception and this exception propagated to the R5 and R5, R5 also terminate with exception and Lacta.select detects the exception from R5 and the main Lacta can detect such exception propagation. When the main Lacta detects the exception on R2 and R5, main Lacta can handle such uh, exceptions. Uh, the very e easiest way is the exiting the application with some error messages. Another, another uh, handling can be restarting the, pro the application or the restarting only R1 and R5 is another way. So application can choose how to recover the uh, exceptions. I believe Rafta will die with some re errors Sometimes it will be a critical error, but sometimes it should be a very trivial error such as typo. So we mistype method name and so on. So this is why we need to detect such errors on Lacta. So this error propagation concept is very important on Lacta, I think. To achieve object isolation between lactors, we introduce several limitations. Non-main lactors cannot use global variables, class variables, and instance vari variables on classes and modules. Non-main lactors cannot access constants if it contains unshareable objects. On main lactor, it is completely com compatible with current Ruby, Ruby 2.x, but to support multiple lactors, we need to modify the applications and libraries code. Now, implementation is not matured yet, so experimental warning will be shown on the first lactor creation. There are many more interesting topics, but there is no enough time to introduce today all of them. So please refer the other resources. Let's summarize this talk. Ruby program can run in parallel with new Lacta abstraction without threat safety concerns. Lacta will be shipped with Ruby 3.0, so you can enjoy it with Ruby 3.0 and also with recent preview release. But it is not matured. So maybe Ruby 3.0 will be preview version of Laughter and your comment on your experience are very welcome. I hope you enjoy this talk and I hope you can enjoy parallel programming with Laughter. 
Thank you for your attention.